Bicycle frame tubing comes in many different shapes, diameters, sizes, alloys. What does it all mean? A lot of people have heard of Reynolds 531, but there's also 853, 953, 725, and then you've got Columbus uh, and Dedekai. What tubing is going to be best for your frame? So your frame builder will choose the diameters of your tubing and the wall thicknesses and the alloys in order to build a frame that will perform the way you expect. So all lightweight steel bicycle tubing is what they call butted. So it's thicker at the ends or the wall thickness is thicker at the ends on both sides and then it's thinner in the middle. So that's how they make it lighter. And depending on the alloy and the other processes it's been through will determine how thin that wall can be. So the very highest end tubing like uh, Reynolds 953 for example can be extremely thin and still retain enough strength to build a bike frame from. Whereas the more entry level tubing such as Reynolds 631 is still, still thin but not quite as thin and it's a bit more forgiving to build with. It's one of the reasons why on the frame building courses that I do we usually build with Reynolds 631 because it's much more, much more forgiving tubing. And in order to get the high strength out of some of the high strength alloys, they have to be what's called heat treated. So the tubes have to go through a process where they're heated up to a certain temperature and then they're, they're cooled in a very controlled way in order to give very specific characteristics. So it does tend to mean that the tubing is more difficult to work with and can be damaged more easily with inexperience. And that is compounded again once you start looking at tubing that's made out of stainless steel. So stainless steel can be quite desirable sometimes because obviously you can polish it and it doesn't rust or at least it doesn't doesn't rust like the steel would rust. So you can leave it leave it bare, you can have a brushed finish or you can polish it up. But stainless steel has a much narrower brazing window because the temperature it will accept the braze is now is narrower. And that's one of the reasons why stainless steel frames tend to be more expensive because the amount of skill that needs to go into them goes up an octave again. Also, the frame builder may specify different diameters of tubing because that will have a bearing on the ride of the frame. So, for example, a, a narrower tube tends to have more flexibility and a more oversized tube makes the frame stiffer. If we get a heavier customer, we may look to use oversized tubing in order to make the frame stiffer. And conversely, with somebody smaller, we may be able to use narrower tubing with thinner walls in order to get the ride quality that they like. Ultimately, it's these small differences in the frame tubing that allow us to tune the frame to you and your riding style and your size and create a truly bespoke frame.